well, Houston, we have a problem. We have the first Canadian playing the first American in the space on the moon. Ryan Gosling is Neil Armstrong in First Man right now on Miscast Entertainment, and you owe him a shot. <laughs> that was amazing. Houston, we have a problem. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. <laughs> All right, roll that shit. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Welcome back, you miscast misfits, to another episode of Miscast Movie Reviews with your host, JJ. I could be a friend to you. This bearded motherfucker here. <laughs> Time to take off. Time to take off. Take off in the first man. First man to walk on the moon. This isn't just another trip, Neil. You're not just going to work. Do you think you're coming back? First man, guys. Yeah. So this yeah. is that rumored Oscar nomination madness that yeah. everybody's been talking about for what six months now. Yep. 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 It's it's going to win some awards, up. I think. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. It's yeah. Tons. It's tons. Too yeah. much buzz. So I'm I'm gonna guess. Can, can I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is probably gonna win more awards than any other movie this year. Uh, I'm not ready to say it's that. It's too but early. I wouldn't man. doubt it. You know. Plus I'm gonna you, do it. Yeah, that Bradley Cooper it. shit, man. What Bradley so. Cooper shit? Uh, Star is Born. Star is Born with yeah, Lady that Gaga. I think that one's leading the pack right now. That movie's straight up doo doo. I don't think anybody's <laughs> really interested in watching that movie. I'll bet you it a takes lot of people it. have. Maybe been, for the like, song or whatever, but no. Yeah, people are loving it. I'll That's bet you it takes it, it over this movie. More awards in this movie. You want to make a bet now? Yeah. Yeah. One sh- one I'll beer. Bet you're not another shot. I'll, I'll, well, okay. I, no, I'm betting that it's not going to be this movie that gets the best picture. Well, no, this is what I'm saying. I think this movie will win more awards than A Star is Born. Uh, That's what I'm going to say. I, I'm not taking that I don't that think so. I'm no, okay. I don't think so. I'm not. I, but I'll bet you. I will I'll, bet you. I'll bet you too. You have to make a shot. Whatever it is, I have to drink it. And if you lose, I make a shot. Whatever it is, you have to drink I, it. I like it. I'm with All you. All right, let's do I'm it. Bored. That's scary, man. Uh, I'm it, glad it I'm is, not in but that you bet. know, them's the rules. So. <laughs> them's the rules. Hey, I'm adventurous, so we'll get... let's do it. All right. It's just one shot. I'm. Mean, right. right. It's not. It's not, <laughs> not life changing. Someone's gonna be. die. How, how much antifreeze can really kill? I mean, an ounce of antifreeze isn't gonna kill you. How do you know? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll know soon <laughs> enough. An Oscar cats. season. I can't wait. <laughs> awesome. At least maybe I'll get some awesome visuals out of it. So, all right. <laughs> this movie has 138 minutes of runtime. I felt like it was longer than that. Yeah, me too. You know, it it dragged a little bit. Yeah, for, but just in a few spots, mostly with. Uh, well, I'm not gonna say it's got a. So uh, last time Venom had a really super low critics rating and a super high audience score. This time it's got an 88 percent Rotten Tomatoes critics rating and. It's got a 67% audience rating. That's surprising. I, I think that kind of makes sense to me because, like you said, it was it did drag at, at a lot of parts. The family stuff, I, hope that's, I don't think that's spoiler review because this is a biopic. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, it's totally Neil Armstrong's family it's life. It's life. Yeah. So uh, the family stuff I thought was a drag for the most part, but I understood that you need, they needed it to build up to for the drama. Of him leaving to go to space and all yeah. that stuff. It's directed by Damien Chazelle. Yeah, Whiplash, La La Land. Yeah, so he's a he's an alum with uh, old Gosling there. Mm-hmm. So they've worked together. Uh, I've not seen either, but what? I did do parodies what of both. How did Isn't that funny? Could you what are you doing with your time? Yeah, I'm not watching that. I heard Whiplash was awesome. Though. Whiplash, Whiplash is, is incredible. It is amazing. La La yeah. Land, I heard, was visually awesome but boring as hell. No, so. no. I, I liked Whiplash more than I like La La Land, but there, uh, people are. Same thing, but La La Land is a great, great movie. Even yeah. if you're not it's into musicals, awesome. it's, it's just an awesome, it's a right. very well put together film. It, yeah, yeah. They, Chazelle knows what he's doing. That's for obvious. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you who knows what he's doing. It's the producer, Wick Godfrey. He's like a ya yeah movie mother of all mothers. <laughs> he yeah. did Twilight and Maze Runner. Uh, this whole series. Oh, YA, I so see. So yeah. you, you can see his shit all over this I, film. I, I enjoy the Maze Runner movies for the most part. I hate uh, all those movies. Really? Yes. I like the Maze Runner. Twilight, not so much. I rather I, I would rather watch Twilight a hundred times over than the Maze what? Runner. Yes. You're crazy. Yeah, it's a br- romance. Breaking Dawn. <laughs> Breaking Dawn all day long. 
breaking down all day long, breaking everything, man. I disagree. <laughs> No way. So, like I said in the opener, Ryan Gosling stars is what was that? Team Edward. Team Edward, yeah, yeah man. for sure. Team I'm Bella. Team, Duh. team Duh. Maze Runner. I can't remember the guy's name. So, okay. Nobody can remember what his name is. <laughs> They're largely forgettable. So. Ryan Gosling, Neil Armstrong. So he's a Canadian playing an American. Yeah, one of the most famous Americans ever in the history of America. I'm glad you remind me. I didn't even. I didn't even think about that when I was watching it. Um, yeah, but he was great in Stay. Not a lot of people remember him from that movie, but I think that's his best Stay? movie. Stay? Stay. This is not a movie I even know of. What's Stay? It's just a movie where he got hit by a car, and he was like, ha- the whole movie takes place in his dying moments. Did it's that movie premiere in the WB or something? That sounds depressing. If fuck. you guys saw it, you would not be saying this. So we got Claire Foy as Anne. She's uh, Queen Elizabeth in Netflix is The Crown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's playing Elizabeth in The Girl with the in the Spider's Web. That is... tattoo looks like complete... G- that, that tattoo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just about to say... That trailer <laughs> looks like complete garbage to me. The sequel to The Dragon Tattoo. It looks really bad. Her <laughs> sister's in it. It looks and like, like an action it, flick now. Like it it's, turned it yeah. from like this weird drama that was really edgy and unique, and now yeah. it's like an action. It's just an action spy movie. I, think I saw the trailer when it first came out, and I was like, eh, they all know martial cool. arts, and there's a bunch of like parkour crap. Yeah. And really? Yeah, oh, it doesn't look good. Part. Okay, yeah, that doesn't sound too great. Well, it's got uh, Corey Stahl as Buzz Aldrin, mm-hmm. Yellow Jacket, and Ant Man. Yep. All right. So, what do you think about it? <clears throat> Honestly, I felt like I was watching a real movie when I when I sat down in, into the theater. And I was watching this movie. I was like, damn, this is a movie. I wasn't watching. There's all these movies that have come out recently, especially this summer, that felt like I was watching like a product or something. I felt like sure. I was watching like a remake or it felt like I was watching a movie that I have to see because of this other reason. But this felt like a really good, proper movie. It had an amazing soundtrack. It had amazing visuals. The performances were great. Um, and for a story like this where obviously you, it's historical, so you know the ending, I thought they did a really good job at still, you know, retaining a lot of that tension. So honestly, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this film. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, and I agree with you that it, Chazelle did a really good job of building tension and suspense, even though you knew the outcome. Yeah. It, and that, oh, that was that made it exciting. Um, like I said before, the family drama stuff was kind of dragged me down on it. So I'm I'm probably on the side of that audience score that you mentioned earlier. I been really, over 50. Ye, maybe in the 60s. Uh, if anybody knows, based on Whiplash and La La Land, if anybody knows how to use sound effectively in a movie, it's Chazelle right oh, yeah. now. And I thought the sound, my, one of my notes was that based on that first scene alone, I, was, I wrote down best sound winner. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Sure. And even though it is his first movie that doesn't deal with like music. Right there is still a lot of musical elements. I mean, yeah. the score, I think, is, uh, again, a surefire winner for, for best score in the yeah. Academy Awards, I think, this year. I thought the score was good. On, okay. But um, there is still, like, you could you know that this guy understands the timing in music mm-hmm. because th- mm-hmm. there are a lot of elements of sound mm-hmm. in this movie. Whenever it deals with, um, whenever you're inside one, one of the shuttles or one of the crafts, you hear, like, every little jingle you hear every little shake every every screw rattling Mm -hmm. and uh i think because of his love for music i think that's why we get that at that level all right let's pitch roll me to 200 rising separate from the agenda I thought he used um, close-ups very effectively to build that tension as well. Um, the drama stuff. Yeah. You know what's exciting? That Again, I don't agree with you guys. I thought that you guys were going to be on my page until you started speaking just now. And well, I'm trying to save my really for the, for the spoiler. Well, yeah, review. but I mean, just how, your overall opinion. I thought, you know... Um, I thought the sound was, was the best part of the movie, obviously. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was... If there's anything Oscar-worthy in this movie, it is the claustrophobia and sound that happens in this movie and the, the way you feel when, like I actually felt like I was in those yeah. situations with this guy and mm-hmm. my balls were shrinking, <laughs> you know, just another dick joke for you. <laughs> <laughs> These guys love the dick jokes. So not well, peepees. when you're in a claustrophobic Story situation balls. as a man, your balls shrink up you know, and that's the way I felt. So well, where's the peepee go? The, the tension was definitely there. Uh, however, I wasn't a fan of the usage of close-ups. 
I really don't like that at all. I think it's lazy directing. I think I it's lazy it cinematography. it was overdone, but I thought it was good. So uh, I think you're supposed to use stuff like that to accentuate certain parts of certain things. And when they're overdone all the time, it just blankets it and, and everything gets lost. And that's where I was with that. When they were in the space situations, you guys are going to love it. See it in IMAX. It's an amazing experience, especially with the sound. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, other than that, you're going to be sitting there trying to like bide your time waiting for the next run into space and then getting really bored and tired. That's kind of the way I felt in between. Oh my God. I, I d highly disagree with that. I know I think you do. <laughs> I thought the directing on this movie and, and, and the screenplay work in this movie is amazing. Yeah. So much is said without words. There, there are scenes where, where there's all this technical mathematical stuff happening in the movie. All these different situations arise but you always understand what's happening, even though you don't understand the science yeah, or you don't understand the math. I never got you lost. You know exactly where the craft is. You know exactly what's going wrong. You know, mm -hmm. you know exactly what the characters are feeling. And that's a very, very difficult thing to do. Well, you're talking about in space. In space, I'm, a, I'm in agreement with you guys. Yeah. It's out of space that I'm in disagreement. With the family with drama stuff? Oh, yeah. Well, with the, the, the whole directing outside of inside of a pod is... is well, atrocious. I thought... I, 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 I disagree with you. I... I, I I think the directing was great as far as I just thought it was boring. Well, the then it wasn't drums. great. Well, no, <laughs> you no, can't say it's boring no, and great because based on JJ's, <laughs> based on what JJ just said, um, the uh, unspoken words and stuff like that between the husband and the wife, I thought were very realistic and very true to life. So, based on that, I thought it was good directing. I just thought it dragged. Yeah. All right, now we're definitely getting into spoiler territory. I can see all the sweat beads coming. And everybody's <laughs> no, it's really anxious. It's hot in here. That's <laughs> right. Everybody's like, I need to get into that spoiler review. All right, guys, you know the drill. Head on over to our channel. If you're not on our channel and it's Facebook or some shit, get on over to that channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell next to it so you get notified of our upcoming videos. And we have a lot of content on our channel now, so get yeah. on in that and check some of it out. I'm sure there's something in there you might like. I know the news is old, but we got many reviews now. So. Yeah. Many. So get over there and check that out. Also, get over to miscastentertainment.com mm -hmm. where we have tons of cool articles and you can actually buy movie tickets. And merch. And merch. So <laughs> check that stuff out. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. All right. Peace. <laughs>